Anthony Ryan just told us that he feels like you played your best game in the NBA on Sunday against Denver and that he told you that. And I'm wondering what that means to you. Uh, he talking about just, you know, me being a um, pass first guy, just uh, looking for my teammates and just playing as a team. So, yeah, I feel like I play a really good game as far as, like, you know, getting everybody involved. And when you get feedback like that from your head coach, what do you do with it and how do you build up of it? Uh, I just come out next game, do the same thing and be and, and still be aggressive, find a way to, you know, maintain and be aggressive. Uh, Chris, go ahead. Anthony, one of the things Ryan said about your performance in that game was your kind of your ability to to make the right reads against Denver's defense. Um, how has that process been just analyzing and breaking down NBA defenses for you in the first uh, couple of weeks here? I mean, it's kind of hard, but I feel like if it's an open man, just throw it to him. I feel like it's just that simple. You don't want to make it too hard. Just if it's an open man, throw it to him. If somebody helping, if you get double team, somebody got to be open. So that's just how I look at it. Uh, John, you got one? Hey, I just, I mean, as a number one overall pick, it, it it doesn't seem like you're playing with too much pressure on your shoulders in terms of wanting to be a guy that comes in and scores a bunch of points right away or, or does those things. How have you sort of managed any kind of expectations or, or, or things like that that come with you being such a high profile player in this draft class and then trying to, you know, not do too much out there, but still help win games? Uh, it's not my time yet. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm here. I'm, I'm here. I'm here to help the guys and help them win games, you know, be better than we were last year. But like, like you said, it's not too much pressure on me because, you know, it's not my time yet. And when the time comes, then I will c come out and try to score the ball. But right now, I, I'm just trying to do whatever I can do to help my team win. Is it hard to be patient or are you, is it okay that way? I mean, I, yeah, I don't, I don't really be tripping. I'll be, I'll be chilling, just trying to help the guys win for real, for real. Uh, we'll go uh, Jason, then uh, Chris again. Jace, go ahead. And we see you in, like, the pick and roll and the way you're able to, like, get your backside defender on your hip and, and work from there and, and almost create, like, a two-on-one game then with the big. That's something that we see maybe guards in, like, their fifth, sixth year in the league uh, do. Where does that feel for the game come from? Uh, I feel like just being uh, – I feel like I'm smarter than a lot of people think. And when teams start to realize that, then they'll start to, you know, lock in on me more when I'm coming off the screen because, like, like I said, I'm smarter than a lot of people think. I just look like this. And it's just, you know, it's just not that hard. I mean, two-on-one, -on -one, like I said, find an open man. That's all I can do. I will go uh, last question to Chris. Chris, go ahead. Anthony, um, I think after the Wizards game, uh, you had some words with uh, Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal. I think a couple of the Lakers chatted with you after after that game in L.A. What what have some of the the veterans on on other teams? What have they, what advice have they given you, or what have they kind of shared with you uh, uh, in your first meeting? Mm. Uh, you know, uh, just keep working. That's the only thing I can tell you. Just keep working. That's about it.